This is Larry Jordan, and welcome to the latest version of Smart Sound Sonic Fire Pro, version 5. The purpose of these tutorials is to help you make the most of this software. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how to finish getting your software set up and installing your music. Now, I've already installed the software, and while my demo runs on a Mac, the actual operation of the software is the same, whether you're on Macintosh or Windows systems. I could run it by simply clicking on the icon here in the application folder, but a much better way to work is to grab that icon and drag it over to the dock, and just store it to the dock. That way you can access the software whenever you're in any application, not just have to go back to the application folder. I'll close this window to make some room here, and, and start the application. After a few seconds, after the startup screen disappears, we are in ExpressTrack. Now, ExpressTrack used to be only available with the network edition of Sonic Fire Pro. But now, it's available free whenever you buy music. And I use ExpressTrack a lot because it's a very fast way to get access to the music that I need. But before we start using ExpressTrack, we need to install our music. And to do that, I want to show you a couple preferences that can make your life a lot easier. Go up to Sonic Fire Pro, go down to Preferences. Click on the Folders preference, and this is where you're able to specify where you want your music files stored. By default, they go on your boot disk in your library folder. But music files can take a fair amount of space, and I recommend that you store them to a second drive. To add a drive, you click on the Add button. In this case, I have a second drive attached to my computer, and I've created a folder on it called Smart Sound Music. Now, I created that folder before I began using Smart Sound. Once I select this folder, I click Choose. Now, this tells the software where it should store music, but there's one more button you need to click. Select the volume that you want to store the music on, and click Set Copy Destination. Notice how the icon moves. This icon now tells Smart Sound where it's going to install your music. Once you've got that set, you're done with setting preferences. By the way, if you ever need to see what music you have installed on your system, click the Albums button, and the Albums button lists all the different music you have available to you. Now we'll close this, and we'll insert the music disc into our CD drive. After a few seconds, the drive spins up, and we see the license agreement. Click the Accept on the license agreement, and in a few seconds, Sonic Fire has installed the metadata that tells it all about the music that you just purchased. Now you have a choice. This dialog allows you to copy or not copy the music to your hard drive. The advantage of not copying is that it saves space, but then you spend all of your time shuffling CDs in and out of your computer. A much better choice is to select Copy. What this does is it copies all the music from the CD to your hard drive, the one we just specified in Preferences. And after a minute or so, when the copying is done, the software is ready to use. Let's let this copy, and in the next tutorial, once we get all of our music installed, I'll show you how to get to work with ExpressTrack. That is when the fun begins. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching.